Hello and welcome to Mindfulness Challenge Day 80 Celebration Poppers. Whoa, everything's going crazy. We are 80% of the way through the 100 day challenge now. We have 20 to go. We have, we can count down now these days and we can move forward with confidence and with love and compassion and empathy and all of these amazing words that we can use with our mindfulness challenge. Today is Sunday, it's day 80, and we're gonna talk about understanding emotions and understanding that emotions really are a combination of both physical sensations and thought patterns, okay? When you mindfully tune into your emotions and the experiences and have the ability to break it down, you can then truly separate yourself from the power that they give you or they take away from you in some instances. So with some very simple wisdom and care, you're able to let go of these feelings rather than allowing them to rule you. Okay, important. We have the ability to separate ourselves from the power they have over us. And emotions are a combination of both physical um, sensations and thought patterns. Physical sensations, you know, um, hyperventilating, pains in the chest, you know, emotions, things like that, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, it's a Sunday, it's gonna be a very straight into it with a picture, okay? And I want you to find a posture that feels both comfortable and is conducive to you relaxing and although you may know how this works for you in general but be open to some of the adjustments that we've done over the past 80 days so take a few moments to examine the body and what is present just breathing in and breathing out but bring to mind if you like when you sit in here now just feel and just bring to mind certain areas of your body check in with your right shoulder just breathe in through your right shoulder how does that feel Let's just check in with our left foot and our big toe on our left foot. Just breathe in there. How does that feel? Check in with your right thigh. How does that feel? Check in with your left shoulder. How does that feel? And all of these things now we're doing is allowing us just to take our body down and relax. And I want you to now bring to mind a recent experience of joy or happiness and try to recall as many details as you can about this event, but visualize the experience and give it space to be present in the mind and in the body. And as this emotional experience is with you, I want you to investigate it. I want you to really look into it closely. What is this joy? And notice what you feel in the body. You may notice a relaxation of your shoulders, gentler or deep breaths or a warmth in your chest. Just feel and check in with that moment of joy. And there's nothing you should do or not any specific way you should be feeling, but just recognize your own experience of joy and tune into the mental state that accompanies its physical sensation. And as you rest with this memory of joy, what's happening in your mind? Notice how calm, how active, and you're not agitated, but you're at ease. And there's a lot of these things with these things, when you're sitting with that joy, there's no right or wrong answer. But I want you to just to familiar yourself, familiarize yourself with this experience of joy. And I want you to do now that with uh, the same with a recent experience that was unpleasant. Now, it may be a time when you were stressed, anxious, frustrated, or sad. Steer clear of experiences that are powerfully changed like an intense argument or a workplace conflict, but instead start with something slightly unpleasant, like sitting in the traffic or navigating through a crowd while social distancing doing your shopping. And invest this experience, investigate in this experience, both mind and body, and resting with it for a few minutes. And just see how that feels. And where do those things come from? Where does the, the unpleasantness come from? But notice that you can notice it. Notice that you can sit with it without it attaching to yourself. That you can separate the actual emotion with any physical or mental thought patterns. You can visualize it and just hold that unpleasantness with loving kindness and allow it just to dissipate, to disappear and just come back to your breath and feel how, 
how beautiful and in control it does to be able to have these unpleasant feelings and just watch them disappear without them causing any physical symptoms, any emotional symptoms, just allow it to be. And a knowing that it will just dissipate as we allow it and hold it with loving kindness. Now I want you to take a deep breath in and I will return to the body and the breath just for a moment, just to end this practice and allow your mind time to take a few deep breaths. Breathing in and breathing out and being with that sensation moment to moment, breath by breath, minute by minute. And when you're ready, just slowly wiggle your fingers, open your eyes and come back into the room. So it's a very simple meditation, but it understands how you can sit with the emotion and feeling of joy and how you can sit and feeling with the emotion of, of, of non-joy, unpleasantness, how you can treat them both the same, how you can just disseparate dis yourself and take back the control and the power by, okay, why am I feeling like this? I'm just gonna have a look. Where do I feel this? What is the feeling? What is the sensation? And bring it out and become an observer of it. And allow yourself to really, really open up. Day 80 of the Mindfulness Challenge. Good morning, Julian. Good afternoon or even good night, Julian. I love you. God bless you and thank you for being with me this day. If you can leave me a comment, subscribe, hit that bell button as well. So if you subscribe and hit the bell button, you'll get all notifications when a new video goes live. And of course, comment and share would be wonderful. Thank you very much for your time on day 80 of the Mindfulness Challenge. I hope now you have the ability to understand your emotions that little bit more and have the ability to sit with the physical sensations and the thought patterns. Apologies for the laughter in the background. I'm glad we finished the meditation, but my son thinks something is funny and I don't know what it is yet. I'm going to investigate. Have a lovely day. See you on day 81 tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.